I usually do four or five drops of the foam safe. Just make sure it's it's sealed up on the other side and you're not dripping through on the other side. And then for a little bonus, I'll go ahead and put some added foam safe CA on the firewall to foam cross brace. And also in this area here, when this dries, I'll rotate it. Put a little in there. Get it set up. Put it on this side. Really adhere it good. Also, there's some holes in the firewall. If you want to go ahead and drill through there and put glue nails or toothpicks or little pieces of carbon, you know, anything added, it's not quite, I feel this is plenty strong enough, but uh, you could add it, add some strength to it if you needed. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the landing gear to the airplane. We're going to make sure that the wheel pant is the, the red side out, so it looks like so. And the wheel be the wheel will be on the inside of the airplane. Just press them in there for a, make sure it's a good tight fit. We're also going to make sure that it's 90 degrees to the wing. If you need to use your your uh, speed square or a square to get that sucker good and square, we'll tuck it in there, and I'm just going to run a bead of glue on the inside and the outside. Put a bead of glue, squirt it, press it down, check it for square. Put a bead down the inside, squirt it, press it, check it, good and square. Make sure to catch any little bubbles or drips that are coming out. Give it plenty of time. Make sure you don't flip it over too early. A lot of times if you get too much rush, you'll get drips gluing all over the place. Now you also can uh, take a little bit of glue if you wish to do it this way and put it in between these two slots and uh, drop in your landing gear. That's an option for you too. But I like to go ahead and put a good bead on both sides, no matter what. Okay, I've grabbed some sandpaper, the uh, the other fiberglass legs, the shorter ones, these two little football shaped uh, plywood landing gear supports, and we're going to go ahead and glue these little plywood guys over this hole here uh, on the inside of the fuselage. We'll line up that uh, hole and glue these guys on like so. It'll be just like that with the hole lined up. I'll go ahead and put the glue on the plywood itself. Of course, you could have done this before you put the landing gear on. It doesn't matter uh, if you do it before or after you put these landing gear on. I'll go ahead and spray it so it doesn't fall off, flip it over, put the other one on the other side. There's plenty of glue on that.
All right, now we're going to take our sandpaper and we're going to scuff up the last eighth of an inch or so on this piece of uh, uh, fiberglass landing gear, the part that goes into the rubber. We want to make sure it's kind of roughened up and clean for good adhesion to the rubber. Don't spin it too much. You don't want to take any diameter out. You just want to scuff it. And we're going to take that scuffed, scuffed end and we're going to poke it through the hole going down toward the landing gear. We're going to push it right into there with regular CA. This is the non-foam safe CA here. And I'll go ahead and put some uh, drops on the fiberglass as it's lining up uh, with the, the rubber. Put the drops up high, let it kind of run down toward the tip. Turn it around, make sure you get glue on all, all the way around. Then I'm going to line that guy up and I'm going to push it all the way in until it stops. A little bit of glue will push out, hit it with the accelerator, and we'll do the same thing with the other side. We'll come through this way, we'll stick side toward the, or sanded side toward the rubber, like so. Put some of the regular CA on the fiberglass. Turn it around, get it all on both sides. Flex it out of the way if you need and just push it all the way in. And spray it. Just like that. Now we're going to line up this fiberglass to the to the foam. We're going to press it into the foam. We're keeping this 90 degrees to the to the wing. So we'll fl end up flexing it out just a little bit and then push it into the foam and push it back in so we get a little bit of an indentation into the foam there about an eighth of an inch or so. Just go ahead and make sure it's good and square. You can do that on both sides. Just like so. It looks good. Make sure the landing gear is nice and Lined up, no toe in or toe out. Play with it a little bit, make sure it's good and square. Once you're happy with it, go ahead back to the foam safe CA and attach it to the wing, fiberglass rod to the wing, and spray it. Hold it till it dries. And I'm going to go ahead and attach it to this plywood here at the center. And there's a big gap there. And you may want to just tack it with some CA. And then fill it up with uh, uh, silicone or epoxy or something to fill the rest of that hole up with. I find silicone works really good. It gives it uh, some shock absorption. And it may aid in uh, rough landings and uh, being able to withstand it a little better possibly. So it, that's an option for you. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the control horns from the plywood uh, uh, where your landing gear guys came out of, your little plywood pack. And all four of these are the same. And they're going to come in, they're going to all expose to the bottom on the aileron. And the way I do that is I'll take a uh, Take the horn like so, grip it like so, and I'll push that little horn side down through the top and pull it through until it's flush with the top. And I'll go ahead and do that on both ailerons. Push it all the way through, line it up. Now what's important here is to make sure that the, that the uh, hole on the horn it's lined up with the hinge line. You don't want it too much in front and too much in back. You're shooting right for right over the hinge line. 